Hi, Wolfman here. Uh, just another short tutorial of how to use DVD Shrink. Um, I take it you already created your own ISO file. So let's get started. Um, the first step is you want to click on File, click on Open Disk Image, and you want to find the uh, ISO file. I did the VAL. I'm going to um, open it. And that's your movie. That's your ISO. That, uh, that's basically your movie. Um, you want to go up here to read author, author. Click on that. And you want to come down to the main movie. And you want to click title. And drag it over here. And there's your movie now. Um, usually it's the longest uh, one in the list. So just look for that if it ain't in the uh, main menu. Or uh, main movie. Uh, then the second step you want to do is compression settings. Click on that. Here's the quality of your uh, of your movie, and all you're going to do down here in step two is uncheck all these. All this is is subtitles, uh, director's comments, different languages. Um, so you don't need all this, and you'll you'll probably never use it. Um, so I'm going to come up here and click out of all this, and all you want for the audio is the English it'll say channel English um, there's another one down here it says channel English but if you look over here it says visual impaired that's what that is um, I'll never use that either so I didn't check that um, sometimes there'll be two channel and two Englishes without this and so you'll have to check both of them if you ever see that because you don't know which one's which um, also you can see it's at a hundred percent now quality of your DVD and the only thing that you want to do is come up here and click on, on the third thing you want to do uh, third step you want to come up here and click on backup and that's all you do and you'll see a screen like this right here and you'll see the movie get breaking uh, broke apart and all that and it should take like five minutes um, I'm not going to do this today because I've already did it so I'm going to skip that step um, so you guys go ahead and do it and pause the video and um, I'm going to stop this video and I'll be back. Um, I'm going to go get the other files. Right, I'll be back in one minute. Okay, that's the quickest two minutes. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm back. Uh, when After you do the DVD shrink thing and you save it to your desktop, uh, your files will come out, movie will come out looking like this. And I don't know why it does it, but um, sometimes it'll be like one movie, sometimes it'll be two, sometimes it'll be five, ten, whatever. This one has five, and so what order they're in, look at the last number, one, two, three, four, and five. That's the order they go in. Um, you can rename these one, two, three, four, five, if you like, or whatever. Um, I'm, for me, I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. And if you right-click on this, you can see it's a, um, a VOB file right here. And if you look right here, and this is important, it's 0.99 gigabytes. That's pretty damn big. So um, I'm going to shrink this down more. And the way to do that is you got to convert all of these files, no matter how many they are, you got to convert all of them to an AVI format. That's what's going to shrink them. So um, go ahead and do that. And I'm uh, I've already done it, so I'm going to go down and grab the other file. So you can pause the video and do that, and when you're done, you can come back, uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, and as you see, I'm going to go right-click on it, click Properties. And that, now you can see it, it is an AVI format. And right here, now you see it's a small file. And the way to tell that is, uh, if you look at the MB, think of it as, um, take the M, just the M of, of that, and think of it as mouse. And when you see the G, as in gigabytes, um, and this is megabytes, but if it was a G right here, um, think of it as, as, as a giant. It's really big. That's how you can tell the two apart if you don't know how, if you don't understand that. Um, so anyway, now that it's smaller, a smaller file, and it's an AVI format, um, you're done with with this. So um, I'm going to click off of this, and now you want to put it. Um, now you can have you have two choices. You can either put it in um, DVD Flick program and go through all your settings and do what you're supposed to do there, 
and you can come in here, double click on this and, and rename it and all that stuff. Uh, and then come up here and create a menu and like burn it, which I'm not going to do that for the sake of the tutorial because I own this DVD, so I'm not going to worry about this. Um, the second thing that you could do is put it um, in Windows uh, Live Movie Maker, and I'll show you that stuff uh, next. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so now the second choice is you want to click on this to uh, go get your file, movie files. And uh, I named mine The Foul because that's the name of the movie I did. And I put AVI files here just so I know what they are for the sake of the tutorial. But anyway, I'm going to click on that. And then if you hold your control button and you cl uh, click on this once while you're holding the control the whole time, you can highlight them all at once and then let go of the control button and hit open. And that's all your movie right here. And the reason why I'm doing this because if you go um, to the end of the movie and you scroll down, um, the main reason why I want to do this is because I want to get rid of all the words at the end. And But the way to do that um, you dynamically think that this is the words, all the words, but it's not. Um, I consider these bars. Each one of these is a bar. So, and I know with this movie, I know where it's at. Um, but you just have to find where the end of the movie ends and the where the words begin, because that's where you want to cut it off. Um, so I gotta go find mine, which I already know where it is. Um, so I'm gonna count one bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, and five bar. Six bar, seven bar, eight bar, and nine bar. So this is how much of the movie I'll be deleting, and it's all words. And I'll be saving that much more room also on the space on the DVD that I'll be burning. And you double click on this bar, and you see right here is the end of the movie, which I can't show because of copyright things. But as you can see over here is the words. So um, what I'm going to do is come over here, move it back, and right there's the end. So all I want to do is right click, click split, come up here to the right of the uh, right of this bar, and right click, and then hit remove. Now down at the bottom, I don't know why it doesn't do it, but at the very end of the movie, you want to come over here on the right side of the bar, right click, and hit remove. And it's as simple as that. Um, and as you can scroll down and see, there's no more words uh, to it. As you can see, it, uh, it ends. Um, but that's the main reason why I use this program. Um, I think it's a great program. Um, but the main reason why I did that is cut the words off. Um, you come up here to save movie, and you want to click on that. Uh, come on. Oh, no. And you want to click recommended for the project, and, and you want to click on that. And I would recommend, I'm not going to do that, but um, I'd save it to the desktop just for easy access. Um, and I would name it whatever the movie, the name of the movie is, I would name that. Uh, so that's what I would do. And after that, the very last step you want to do is after your, this part here is done and you saved it and all that. So the very last step that you want to do is um, close this program down and you want to uh, convert that file that you created here to your desktop. Well, you want to convert it back to an AVI format to shrink it uh, again. And to put it, after that, you can also put it into the DVD flip program. And doing, by doing all of this stuff, I know it seems a lot, but after doing all this, you can put two movies on the a blank DVD instead of one and I don't add nothing up here because I like to keep my movie as original as possible um, so I don't add nothing in uh, so that's about it for this tutorial um, please like and comment and tell me what you think uh, thank you